Now, Gruber, you have got to help me. We must get rid of this terrible Italian. He does nothing but hang around my office and get in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than that, Colonel. He is sharing my billet. It's difficult to make the copies of the paintings which we intend to sell after the war. He's got to go. I wonder if René could get the resistance to blow him up. <laughs> that does seem a little drastic, Colonel. Well, almost blow him up. Just enough to make him a nervous wreck. So he can be sent home. <coughs> He's very boring. He's always talking about his conquests with women. Oh, I know. It's bad enough to be an Italian, but to be a boring Italian's unforgivable. <laughs> Colonel! <laughs> my friend! Ah, you Berto. You do, my friend, eh? I bring the pipers. All over we win the war. You don't win the war. We win the war. Well, you Germans, you like the war. We Italians, we don't want no trouble. We make the faster, we make the love, and we sing. One night of love! <laughs> Silence! I will not have singing in my office. One wonders, Captain Bertorelli, why you joined the army in the first instance. Is it the uniform? Is it drive the ladies mad? 